All right, guys, we're keeping this train rolling here. Workout number two of the season, technically number three for me, but number two that you guys are gonna get to see. A little bit of a speed endurance based ladder workout today. Again, not too fast. Last time we just kept it nice and slow and even that proved to be a challenge. So just working on refining that endurance, getting all the kinks out and yeah. So today I'm gonna shoot for 300s, three 200s and one 300. My biggest goal today is to just approach this fresh and stay fresh and execute as far as I can into the workout with control because as I found through my first couple of workouts this season, I did another one off camera a couple days ago, but as I go into those later reps, once the lactic starts to build, that's when I start to resort to overstriding, and that's not a good habit to get into, even early in the season when I'm just trying to work out the kinks. So I'm gonna stretch, get some dynamic drills in, and we'll get to it. You may notice I'm at a different track today. Shout out my B Spa friends, but for the 200s, I usually use the actual 200 start, but this time I'm gonna have to use the 400 start because that far turn has nothing but pine cones on it. If I come here again and it's like that, I'm gonna have to bring a freaking leaf blower or something. Big shout out to my Saratoga friends. I used their track last time and they kindly let me. Their high school boys four by mile just placed sixth in New Balance Nationals indoor, so big shout out to my guys there. One other major thing I've been up to, I've been doing a lot of work with mile split in in around New York State, so. Disclaimer, all thoughts and opinions expressed in this video do not reflect those of Mile Split or Flow Sports Incorporated. My latest big thing with them, I just announced the New York State Championships for indoor track out of Ocean Breeze in Staten Island, and I gotta say it was probably the best broadcast I've worked yet. Great way to end the indoor season, and now that I got a week off, this is what I'm doing. I'd say regardless of whatever I do on the track here, it is definitely one of my biggest goals to announce professional track and field like that would be, if I had to pick a dream job, that would be it. And I feel like just doing all these workouts allows me to stay close to the sport. I tell this to people a lot, but you know, figured I'd throw it out to you guys. All right, so yeah, we're going to start the hundreds now, but just look at all these freaking pine cones. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nice and easy 14.5, let's get it. All right, first one was a tad slow, around 14.9, but we're gonna pick it up. Again, I haven't felt any kind of pace for the last mo few months, so no worries there. What I have to be careful of is going out in like 14 flat and like, being so worried about the average. If I get like two 14 threes, that'll probably be more ideal. So I'll go for that. Huh. See, what I tell you, 14 three, exactly what I gotta do. All right, hundreds are done. Feels good to get the wheels turning again. I give myself four and a half, five minutes and time for the twos. Another 29.7. Gosh, I don't know why, but to winter workouts, I rarely ever respond well to them. So, one more, see what we can get. So I know I said at the beginning I was going to do a 300 after all that, but as I was just watching back the footage, I could already start to feel 
the lactic of my legs. And, you know, while it's probably the right thing to do, just get the effort in at the end. I don't think it's an urgent matter. So I'm just gonna cool it down from here, let the dust settle and be proud of myself for what I've done today. Because, you know, usually when I'm in mid-season form, I can write down a workout like that and say, oh, I'm giving myself a day off basically. But one other big thing that I've kind of reminded myself of though, in these couple of early season workouts is that it's so important to know your own body. And though I work out almost every day, you know, there are still things that if you leave things on a dress for a while that you kind of forget about. And that's okay because muscle memory is the most important thing you know once i remember once my body remembers that graceful feeling of effortlessness that you're supposed to feel right on this back stretch during that flow phase it is over baby it is over i gotta say though at some point in the near future i'm gonna have to return and give that 300 a try if not like a repeat 300s workout because in addition to the 400 i love running the 300 since high school i actually did break my pr in the three i got it down to a 39 six a couple of years ago but despite the fact that i was running that fast then in contrast to where i was at in high school which is like 41 two i couldn't muster up the mental strength to attack the 400 like i would have liked to and so that was something that I thought I did better at last year. You know, I had a couple of injuries in 2022 and that kind of put a halt to everything midway through, but we're back stronger now. Just gotta get the body in shape. All right, that concludes this video. Subscribe, leave a like and stay tuned. See you guys next time. Peace.